Welcome back to Lego by the Book. I am Captain Xavier, and today I'm going to be building set 6929 Starfleet Voyager. No, not that Starfleet Voyager. Uh, this set came out in 1981, so it predates the show Voyager by a couple of decades, at least. Uh, and in fact, it predates me by two years. This set is older than I am, which is cool. It's a really neat looking starship, and I don't know that I ever knew it even existed, because like I said, this set's older than me, which is neat. Uh, I acquired this set in a collection trade. Somebody locally reached out to me uh, with, a, with a vintage Lego collection they wanted to trade for uh, a copious amount of Nerf. And uh, when they told me some of the stuff that was in this collection, my eyes got real big and it was just, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh we can trade. And so he came down with his collection, I took a look at it, and it was everything he had described and quite a bit more. Uh, there were castle and pirate sets that I, um, I, I think I had all of them, but possibly not. Um, and you can never have too many, it's, you know, those are the sorts of things that you can never have too many pirate ships uh, or castle wall sections it, it, it just all adds up but he definitely had a bunch of vintage space that i didn't have that will all be getting featured on this channel eventually um it's some really neat ones like i said from buff from older than me uh and uh some of them are in really good condition and some of them are in pretty rough condition but the the nature of the collection was absolutely amazing and so he he showed up with a his car trunk full of lego and left with his car trunk and back seat full of nerf i gave him pretty much one of everything uh just yeah here you go have one of these and one of these and a couple of these and a box of these and here's some more of this and some of that he doesn't actually do much in the way of actual nerfing so he's not planning to do a whole lot of internal mods. He does cosmetic mods for post-apocalyptic stuff. So he wanted blasters that could be modded into like pulse rifles, so rapid strikes and stampedes, and general steampunk, or not steampunk, uh, post-apocalyptic, like um, he goes to wastelands down in wherever it is in the south, um, and wanted blasters that he could you know paint up and, and cosmetically mod and so we, we hooked him up with pretty much the entire doomlands line and lots of end strike and lots of rebel because they all just are cosmetically fabulous in, in that, that area so it was one of those wonderful trades where both of us left feeling we had gotten the better deal uh, so which is, which is great. He, he was fully aware of what the collection was worth, but again, like many people who have given me Lego, wanted it to go to a good home. So the fact that it was going to me and the fact that he ended up with, you know, probably more than double his current collection in Nerf, we both thought we made off. So I am going to try to build this set. It melt, melt, some of it's in here, some of it's probably in here, and there will probably be stuff that I will need to pull from my collection because like I said, some of the sets were in good condition and were complete, and others were decidedly not. Apparently they read, led a rough life. His younger brother, who's apparently not a good person, got his hands on it and, and did horrible things like getting rid of some of it and breaking some of it and ruining some of it. Uh, but enough of it survived. I, I, it, it pains me to think how what this collection was like before his brother got a hold of it. Anyway. This one was not built at all, so I decided to make it the first one that I will try to build. I will then also disassemble some of the ones that were completed and rebuild them on the channel because they're really cool vintage stuff. So, here we go. We're going to see if we can uh, build this thing. First up, the Mini is a classic pre-visor uh, red astronaut character. Very cool. Here is a fun piece, and this is the piece that um, allowed me to identify what set this had to be, because this part in this color only existed in this one set, I believe. Um, there was also the same one in, in light gray, and between them, they definitely only existed in this set. So, that is pretty nifty, having unique parts like that.
And there it is. We have the completed Starfleet Voyager. Cockpit opens up here to allow us to put our mini inside. And it, uh, it looks like a remarkably low um, profile cockpit because of how much bigger the uh, that creates underneath, which is, I think, a really neat looking design. Very sleek. I imagine this, this front nose bit that goes down was probably inspired by the, the Concorde jet. Um, there is something of a, an action feature or a play feature. This back opens up and drops a cargo container. Looks like it was supposed to be full of random spare bits and tools, but I can't, it doesn't actually ever show what those spare parts were. And so I can only assume you're just supposed to know that whatever parts are left over are the parts that went in there. Now, I did have to make a couple of substitutions because I did not have the right parts in the right color. Um, these pieces, pieces that hold the engines on are actually supposed to be white, um, but I was missing one, so I decided to swap them out with gray. Um, there was one wing piece I was missing. But again, I was able to substitute with something that if you didn't know it was missing, you probably wouldn't ever notice. Um, and yeah, it's a neat looking number. Didn't have a little droid with it. That's what I figured was going to go in that con that, that uh, storage pod, but it didn't. Um, it just has a regular steering wheel in the cockpit. He doesn't have any kind of a control panel. I thought that was interesting because they have control panels out here on the outside. So, hmm. ah, no, I lost a dish. Uh, yeah, neat little, little shit. There is definitely another something in here. I imagine with a little bit of digging, I could probably figure out which one it was. And I might, I might give it a try. The problem is I have very decidedly run out of room for any more of this vintage space and I have more of it. So, I may have to either extend my shelving or figure something else out. But this is super cool. So I enjoyed building it. Set 6929 Starfleet Voyager. Thank you for watching.